I think what we try to do is to provide what is loosely described as the average person with a premium experience at a cost that is within his or her reach. And I know there are, there are discussions and arguments about price being high and so on and so on, but we try to do the best we can to give people, whether it be champagne or premium scotch or restaurant quality food, for a six to eight hour period at a price that is substantially less than it would cost them if they were to do that in the, in the ordinary world. And to add to all the other things, the elements, the entertainment, the fun part of it, and quali quality is our, our, our main, at the end of the day, the main thing, to provide a quality service. We were, we were grappling with a, a tagline for Beach House. We, we don't have one. Um, and what it kind of came back to is that we do not and will not compromise on quality. And, and I think that, yeah. that kind of drives us. Beach House came out of a thing, with me and Curtis originally, about wanting to go somewhere, wanting to do something that we would want to go to. That was kind of the, the thing. We knew what we, we liked, what we didn't like, what we expected when you pay a certain price. Right. So if, if, if we were happy with it, then you know, that's what we felt it should, you know, should be. It's at the tracking station in Chagaramas. Um, wasn't a decision of ours, <coughs> we have to hasten to say that. We, we, we wanted to stay at the venue on the waterfront, but the CDA got a client or customer who has um, lease that space um, for, and they are supposed to begin work prior to Carnival, so we had no choice but to find another space, and we worked with the CDA, um, should it took probably three or four months for us to find a space suitable um, for, for 3,000 people and tracking station, Jagrama Cities. We like the venue, but it, it, it'll take some work to get it to where we needed to get to. There were concerns at the CDA about us using the tracking station. Um, because Chagramas is a nature preserve. The, we had to provide to the CDA, uh, uh, and it's more than environmental, we had to provide to them a proposal that addressed one traffic, um, two security, three parking, and finally four environmental. We've, we've done a lot of work internally, and as, as Walt said before, we would only go to an event that we felt met standards that we held in some regards. So, so we think we have done everything possible to deal with all the environmental concerns. And, and one has to remember, we just a day fit. So we, we, finish, we finish at 9 o'clock. We might push to 9.15 if people are having a grand time. And then this year we're having a beach house cooler fit on Sunday, and that is going from midday to 6 in the evening. So, so we're having something in the day. And we really did try to hold the price. Uh, let, me, let me list pointedly. One, the cost of the venue has gone up. The cost of organizing the event at the tracking station is substantially higher than, than previously. We have to prepare the venue and we have to find different parking and um, there's the rental of, I think it's 30 or 40, 25 seater maxi taxis to shuttle people because of part of the environment there's a re arrangement is that we won't have cars no traipsing up the traffic going along the road at all. Yeah. And then to add to that without giving away too much we have to have, I guess, security at more than four different locations in Chagram. So it's, you know, mm. it's heavy. And the margin is thin. When you is going to be, it's a nice and what we do with it, is, yeah. is, 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 I think that, that is definitely a, a change. Yeah. That's potential yeah. to, to really look good, you know what I mean? It, it could, I think it's going to be very interesting what we end up doing with so it. It's you know? a scenic kind of, very kind of dramatic because of the uh, yeah you know, because of that. And the thing is, a lot of people have not gone up there. It's, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a private it's a private road, you know. So yeah. access to there is not day to day traffic. So I think up there will be a first time for a lot of people. You know, I I hadn't gone up there since I was a little boy. You know, spectacular DJ performances. <laughs> no, no performances. Spectacular DJ performances. <laughs> there was one beach house. I can't remember what year. We actually had two bands, okay. right? Uh, Atlantic and Roy Keep. Um, this is, and that was because of people coming to us and saying you can't have a carnival fair 
without a band. Well, we beg to differ, but we had it. It made little or no impact or, or change to their, 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 their enjoyment or the, you know, the entertainment factor. Plus, um, we've always thought that the bands kind of chop up a party. So if people are there, they wait on a band. Not until the band comes on, that's when the crowd starts to, to get on, as they say. Band is finished, <coughs> crowd dissipates. And so there are these waves in the party as opposed to the party going and, and, and rising to a peak. So all those, those reasons, um, those, are, those are the main reasons, actually. Well, we, we, we have, a we have a, a thing that we say, too, is that when, when you come to beach house, you have nothing to wait for. Yeah. They have no, nothing to wait for, so people come in there, and if they, if they reach there at 2 o'clock, they start in the party from 2 o'clock, because yeah. they, they just come in the party. Yeah, yeah. No, from, from, from food, you don't have to wait, wait on, on, on any special food at all. We have food, the array of food is there from the get-go. There's no kind of, um, what, what, they do this kind of tears and things with the drinks, and you could only get champagne at this hour, or whatever the case may be. Thing. In time you, you walk through those doors. One I, think, I think a band puts pressure on your service as well. Mm -hmm. I think, I think yeah, the band is playing everybody's focus on the band. The yeah. band stops playing, everybody goes to the bar. Sure. Whereas if you have this sort of continuum, you get full service throughout the event. You know, it, I think it just works. Yeah, and they have, when you have a stage, when the band is not playing, everybody is just pointing at the end. Look at the empty stage and they, they, the whole part, the whole orientation of the party is towards the stage and nothing is on the stage. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know. so.